okay so let me now uh talk about another property which is quasi concavity and how is it connected to you know concavity okay uh, so let's do that okay so here is the definition of quasi concave function okay so if you remember uh, you know when we use when we plotted uh, indifference curves for let's say cobb douglas function you know it looks like this right yes okay and for uh, min x plus 2y comma 2x plus y you know it looks like this okay so i mean we have done many uh, functions like this where this set was actually a convex set right this particular set was actually a convex set right yes okay so this is like the better offset okay uh, so this is the better offset now by the way what can you say about lexicographic preferences can you say that the better offset is a convex set for lexicographic preferences so if i take a point like this we have already defined what is better offset so if i take a point like this set of points that are at least as good as this point what can you say about that particular set is that a convex set yes it is okay you can see that it will be you know all points in this region okay okay all points in this region uh, and it is a convex set no matter what points you're going to pick uh, uh, you know and you're going to connect them by line segment it will lie inside uh, this set okay and uh, similarly this you know here also if you take uh, uh, you know cobb douglas uh, in utility function and if you want to draw the indifference curve this set of points lying in the better off set is a convex set and if you want to consider min of x plus 2y comma 2x plus y again you know the same thing is true okay uh, so and what about x plus y again the same thing is true let me give you some examples where it is not true let's say max x comma y you know if you want to take max of x comma y what can you say about this better off set is this a convex set no it is not okay so basically you know here we'll be talking about functions okay uh where the better off set is a convex set okay of course lexicographic preference i'm not including here because it doesn't have a utility representation okay but you know other you know i'm talking about the other functions so uh the better off set is uh you know whenever we say that the better off set is a convex set we say that the particular function is quasi concave is that is that clear you know that's basically the definition of quasi concavity that's it okay so uh this is uh, how you can write the definition this is exactly the better offset okay uh where uh you know uh so if you just fix the level of satisfaction okay fix the level of satisfaction to a okay and this is set of all points in the domain okay or the commodity space that gives you satisfaction level at least as much as a you know which is basically the fixed level of satisfaction so if you just put equal to sign here you'll get an indifference curve okay and this is if you put greater than or equal to sign here you'll get a better offset okay uh, which includes the indifference curve okay and if this particular set is a convex set for every utility level okay then we say that uh, you know the particular function is quasi concave okay now what i'm going to do is you know how to plot indifference curves so i'll just give you two or three functions and then you'll have to tell me whether it is quasi concave or not okay so is is the, is that fine okay so can you tell me is this quasi concave is this a quasi concave function yes it is okay uh, it is a quasi concave function right okay what about this one uh is this quasi concave think about it okay can you tell me what is this function actually i mean can you just uh, write it in a simpler form that's right okay it is basically x plus y because whenever x is smaller than y this is x this is y and whenever x is bigger than y this is uh, y and this is x so it is always x plus y okay uh, so this is actually x plus y okay and we know that the level curves of x plus y are going to look like this and this set is a convex set so it is quasi concave is that fine so this particular function is quasi concave have you all understood this okay 
Uh, okay, good. 